Imprint project is a project looking at fingerprints and palm prints on the back of medieval wax seals. We look at wax seals from around of the middle of the 12th century up to 1350. And we're looking at whether those seal prints match to see what we can find out about communities and networks. Who was responsible for taking a seal, a matrix that's very personal, that belongs to an individual where they've chosen something and attaching it to a legal document. We couldn't do this at all if it wasn't for the work that we can do with conservation and chemistry. The ability to do that interdisciplinary work and to pursue new ideas is absolutely vital. In chemistry, we've been able to reconstruct how people would make medieval wax in the first place working at the exact temperatures required for the different components to melt together properly, uh, the correct temperatures to reheat the wax for sealing. Uh, later on we're going to have a look at the exact chemical composition of the wax. From the forensic side, the forensics team are excited about what the implications could be for print um, capture and analysis in general. How far back can we manage to capture a print? The Crime Light Imager is a very specialist piece of equipment. It's used by forensic scientists across the world and its job is to take images of fingerprints in unusual and difficult situations. So we're able to take the seals that we have and use different light levels, different wavelengths of light. So what we're doing is taking a seal where we can see that there is some sort of image on there, some sort of fingerprint or palm print, and we're making it more visible. The first thing we're hoping for is a database that other people can make use of. The second thing we're hoping is that we will find out more about ordinary everyday medieval communities. We're also though hoping that we're going to be of use to modern forensic techniques. Fingerprints are always held to be unique. There hasn't been any really good statistical work on proving that fingerprints are unique. So they're going to make use of our medieval prints as well. Thank you.